Good morning, Calvary. When was the last time someone caused you grief? We have seasons of grief when we lose someone that's close to us or when we must move away from our family and our friends. We also grieve when someone wrongs us. If someone that we count a friend gossips about us or betrays us or harms us in some way, they grieve us. We feel sorrow because the relationship that we valued has in some way been broken. Listen to what Paul writes in Ephesians 4, verse 30. He writes, And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. This is an important verse because it teaches us a lot about the Holy Spirit. Sometimes we can get the impression that the Holy Spirit is just an impersonal force that like emanates out from God. But the reality is that the Holy Spirit isn't a force. He has personhood. We believe that there is one God revealed in three persons, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit can be grieved. This means that the Spirit experiences sorrow because of our sinful actions. This verse also points to one of the things that the Holy Spirit does for us. He seals us. This means that He protects us and preserves us until the day of redemption. Someday, we will get to see Jesus, our Savior, face to face. But until that day, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. We are safe and we have the guarantee that the Spirit is with us and keeps us for our redemption in Jesus. This is an intimate relationship. This is why it grieves the Holy Spirit when we sin. Sin is counter to God's character. When we sin, it causes sorrow for the Holy Spirit who is with us during that sin. The Spirit knows the depth of the sin and how counter it is to our new nature as children of God. This command, do not grieve the Holy Spirit, is nestled in a list of other directions on how we are to live the Christian life. Those commands deal with how we talk to each other, how we treat each other, and how we deal with anger. Now, those are everyday issues. Most of us talk to somebody every day. Most of us interact with people and hear them talk each and every day. And because of those two things, most of us have the opportunity to get angry every single day. And in the midst of all those mundane, everyday activities, the Bible reminds us, don't bring sorrow to the Holy Spirit. He's right there with you. He cares about you and how you live the Christian life. He's keeping you for the day that you'll see Jesus. And he wants you to live like you know that day will happen. So the next time you're tempted to sin, maybe a simple temptation to anger, remember the Holy Spirit is with you. You can stand up under the temptation. And by doing so, you'll bring joy to the Holy Spirit rather than grief. If today's message has been encouraging to you, would you like it, share it, or leave a comment? And have a great day.